Right guys, the kitchen unit is now done. Um, the cooker will be sitting there, that'll be its permanent place. I'm actually going to screw that down. There's a couple of little dimples inside there. I'm going to drill them out and I'm going to put two screws in there or I'll bolt it up from underneath, but I'll sort something out anyway because uh, I want that solid and I want it not moving. Um, the other thing is I've drilled it down the back as you, for the, as you can see for the gas pipe which will be going down. I have, The sink is completely fitted now. Um, I have filled around here. Uh, filled any gaps and whatever that, that was in, that's in the wood to get that sorted. Um, I will be taking the sink out again because I'm going varnishing all around the edge and painting all around the edge to make sure that there's no water can get into the wood. And when the sink does go back in, it'll be going back in with a proper sealant around it to make it properly dry. So that's that sorted. In here then, we have our two water tanks. Uh, one grey, one clean water. Um, all with, they're, they're two 10 litre drums. That's all we're ever going to need. Uh, so that's that and we have two handy little cupboards one for cutlery and one for a sort of utensils and saucepans and what have you So guys, that's all that the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself a chopping board And I'm going to cut a chopping board to the size of the hole it sits down there So if you're not using the sink you have a bit, a bit of extra area that you can prep food in there will also be a, a Table of a small pop-out table going here. Okay. That's it for now guys. See you later. Bye-bye